Hello and welcome to New India Junction. I am Richa bringing you the top stories from Eastern India every Saturday on NIJ East this week. Let's take a look at this week's most important stories. Union Home Minister Amit Shah in his two-day tour of West Bengal visited the Bharat Seva Shram Sangh in Kolkata on Thursday. He launched the fifth and final phase of the BJP's Poriborton Yatra from Kakdweep in South 24 Parganas district and later met with a refugee family at Narayanpur village. He also visited the Kapil Muni Ashram on Sagar Island. Prime Minister Narendra Modi virtually inaugurated several development initiatives worth Rs 8,000 crore for road, waterways and digital connectivity in Assam on Thursday. He launched Mahabahu Brahmaputra Inland Waterway project under which three Roba vessel operations between Nimati Ghat in Jorhat and Majuli Island, North Guwahati and South Guwahati, as well as Dhubri and Hatsingimari were announced. Prime Minister Modi also laid the foundation stone of Dhubri Pulbari Bridge and performed Bhumi Pujan for construction of Majuli Bridge. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal and Union Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari were present at the event in Majuli. Arunachal Chief Minister Pema Khandu laid the foundation stone of a memorial dedicated to Major Ralingnao Bob Cutting and conferred Arunachal Ratna, the state's highest civilian award, on him in Tawang. Major Khating had carried out a heroic operation with 200 Assam Rifle soldiers to bring Tawang under Indian territory in 1951. Governor of Arunachal Pradesh, B.D. Mishra stated, and I quote, The picture of Tawang would have been different had Bob Khating not hoisted the national flag in Tawang 70 years ago. Union Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju, Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat and Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma were also present at the event. Sikkim Chief Minister P.S. Tamang launched the Free Gift Milk to Girl Students of Sikkim initiative in Gangtok. Under the initiative, around 1,500 students will be provided 200 milliliters of milk every day. The Chief Minister termed the initiative a step towards eradicating malnutrition and other health problems among the younger generation. In line with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat, Tamang urged the youth to take up farming as a profession and emphasized various government initiatives in the dairy farming sector that will help achieve the vision. Bamboo from Tripura will be used in beautification of the new parliament building. In a series of tweets, East Tripura MP Rebati Tripura announced that Tripura's bamboo will be used in flooring and panelling of the new parliament house. In a meeting with Union Minister for Road Transport and MSME Nitin Gadkari, Ribati shared via Twitter that the minister advised him to implement Prime Minister Modi's Zero Defect, Zero Effect mantra in the bamboo farming sector. Indo-Bangladesh rail link will be over by March, informed Tripura's Transport Minister Pranajit Singha Roy. The 13-kilometre-long railway project connecting India through Agartala and Nishchintapur with Akhaura in Bangladesh will be a major boost to trade and economic relations between the two countries. So that was all from us today on NIJ East this week. Do let us know in the comments below what you think of our content. Until next Saturday, goodbye and take care.